Kelly. Thank you for returning my call. Um, now, we seem to have some problem. Do you know where the boats have come from? They come from the middle of the side. Have you heard where the park of works isn't it? Yes, well, that's just not good enough. Bearing in mind these are uh, 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 people with young children, they have no heating. Fortunately, uh, we've been able to lend them a couple of heaters, but that's just not good enough. That one's an emergency. I think she's going to need a new tool over there. Oh, okay then, Dan. Check if that plate, Alan. What plate? Oh, yeah, that, that, that door. At Wixom House, where you want to strike the plate. Where's the door? Which door? You don't know where. Yeah, that's on your plate. Next one. Will you look at the doors? It's burning. No, I haven't seen it. Rich, be careful there, the old girl, she's disabled, so knock hard and wait for her, will ya? Oh, another one for ya. Ah, oh, not another E. Right, sir. Steve Hatton, Employment Development. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry to interrupt you, you, you want to actually start a business? Yeah. Well, you come, you come to the right department, we do give advice uh, and we do have some financial assistance to start businesses, but the person you need to speak to is Rosemary McClavey. I managed to get the book for you. It's, I know we discussed the regulations briefly last time we were here, but that's the actual act, so that will tell you everything that you need to know about um, preparing food at home. Going on the right tracks. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, I never realised there was quite so much involved. No, it's quite difficult really working from home, especially if you've yeah, got pets. That's, that's always right. A problem. You start off with a good idea and then... Things going on. Very well, very well indeed. I think I told you about this security firm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've got about um, a good 200 vehicles. Really? Uh, those very pleased with our prices. Obviously, it's down to service, so um, we've now got to prove ourselves. But yeah. um, if that takes off, it's going to, once again, uh, I should think another two staff will be needed. Uh, That's a regular service contract oh, for, yes. for 200 yeah. vehicles. That's right. That's right. Very good. And it's all They're just the customers you've been aiming for, isn't it? Since, no, since we, uh, we came in with you and made an investment. fairly large turnover of vacant properties. I'm going to look at one now. Sometimes I know when a property is going to become vacant, other times I am informed by the neighbours. The aim is to complete a vacant inspection within 24 hours of it becoming vacant in order that the property can be relit as soon as possible. 
Colin, how are you getting on? Not too bad, just sorting out this temp pot thing. Are you trying to temp pot? Did you try yeah. a normal log pot? Yeah. Up to about one meg? Well, two meg I tried. Yeah, and a 470k? Yeah. And it wasn't any good? No, couldn't shoot it properly, just kept drifting. Uh -huh. And you're getting more success with the 10 turn? Yeah. Right, okay, we'll just make sure it doesn't drift, give it a good test, and we'll leave it at that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hello Jim, um, had a good look round, there's an asbestos panel around the boiler which is a bit badly damaged so I'll get the asbestos squad to sort it out, alright? Okay. Thanks Rob, right. bye! See you Six eggs. Yeah. Two pounds of sugar. Two pounds of sugar? Yeah. Any cheese? Yes. Small piece of cheese? Yeah, packet cheese. Don't do your pain. Oh. All right. um, I come to Mrs. Urian lunch times. Well, round about twelve. And um, she's generally ready for a cup of coffee and then I cook a dinner, that's twice a week. While I'm cooking a dinner, I generally hoover through, clean her floors, and then if she wants anything to the, at the shops, pop up the shops. to go round the crash. Let me get you dressed first, then I've got to do Keisha. And the other Elizabeth. Your arms in. Quick. I've got a big axle. Here. Yeah. So the work on the first block seems fairly well advanced. How, how much longer is the contract to run? It was 52 weeks and it's finishing in July, 86. Right, so you've moved 36 families out to do this work. Mm. How's the uh, decanting of tenants in the second block going? There's 11 moved so far. Um, there's quite a, lot of, quite a lot of offers still pending results. Is it getting full up now? Yeah, it's getting there. Um, how long have you been living here? Four years. And um, can you tell me why you're moving out? Well, they're doing major works around here. They're, um, oh, well, <laughs> they're <laughs> completely gutting the place. Uh, new windows, uh, asbestos removal, um, the dampness, everything, everything needs doing. The central heating, everything in these places needs doing. And where are you going to move to? I'm going to Charlton Park Lane. I've got a house at last. You're vegetarian, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right, they're being like. Yeah. How many uh, children do you each look after roughly in a week? I look after two. I've got three. Three or four. Three, you know. Depends how many you register for. So do they sort of check your... They do that. Oh, yeah. I go right through the doctor, your rent, 
Have you heard? Yeah. Oh yeah, if you're in yeah. arrears, yeah. everyone's yeah. register, yeah? yeah. When they come to me, you put his head down me bleeding toilet, you put in me bed, <laughs> <laughs> in me cupboard. Yeah. So they yeah. say, don't they? Well, yeah. Because yeah. 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 they yeah. say yeah. once they register you, see they're your responsible they're responsible for you. You've got a moment, yeah? Uh yes mine. Right. Yeah, Cool. Right, I've um, had a referral about an elderly lady. Do we have this barrier? It's an emergency. Um, we've got the... Got... Yeah, do you want it now? Yes, please. Radio. Well, from what the daughter told me, um, she seems to be quite a frail elderly lady. Um, although she seems to be able to dress herself, so that's okay. Mm. Uh, and feed herself, so that's all right. Um, I think that the areas of worry were about getting up and down the stairs. It sounds as though she can just about manage that. Um, she does need some help with bathing. Okay, I think we've covered everything, Catherine. Yeah. Is there any other thing you want to ask no, me about no, violence? That's, that's each of the points that I made a note of, so we've covered them all now. Good. Right. So okay. We'll give you a ring next week, see yeah. how it went. Bye, Violet. Bye, bye. Have a lovely weekend. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. See you back at the office yeah. then. Okay, Ken. Bye. 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 Okay. Hmm. So you've got another weekend deal then? <laughs> Are you pleased to be here again, Vi? You don't want to keep me for a year, do you? <laughs> <laughs> You see lots of people if you come mm -hmm. here, don't you? And I take yeah. you out. So we go, we go out on Saturday. If I get some friends with oh, a car, yeah, we'll we go. We we'll go over there to um, to your son's. To, to my son's. Yes, yes. yes. You yeah, nice did we go there? We've been there quite a few Saturdays. Oh. Yes, you always enjoy that. Everyone kisses you hello, don't they? And kisses you goodbye. And you said I've never been kissed so much in all my never life. Never had so many kisses. <laughs> Is this, a, do you call it a normal or whatever Yeah, you get these every day. There's a new sash where the old sash is right the way. They replace it. What are you doing now then? Well, I've got putted, bed putted the, the back in. Now I'm going to bed the glass in. It should fit. So far. Oh, I think it's very nice. Very, very nice. nice indeed. I like it, yes, yeah. it's more compact. Oh, know. lovely. Good afternoon. Sorry to have kept you. Oh, yeah. oh, what can I do for you? Uh, well, <clears throat> I've got this idea for a business, so uh, I'd like to start my own company up. Yeah. And um, I just came to see you to see what sort of grants I could get to help me uh, you know, get started. Yeah. Well, it really depends on what sort of business it is. What have you got in mind? Uh, well, it's be manufacturing. Uh, it's a uh, battery. Do you want to have a look at it? Yeah, you can put one with you. So, uh, <laughs> okay. I know it looks a bit funny. I know I've got to do a bit of packaging with it. You know, mm. it's for um, domestic video recorders. Oh, is this a lovely big room? You like it? Oh, yes, I do. It's gorgeous. And the, all the kitchen's here. Yes, that's your kitchen. Oh, in that's there. Most yes. This. Map shows the area that's covered by the rent grant system. Yeah. So if you find something within that area, it's quite likely that you would qualify for a rent grant. Mm -hmm. uh, in order to apply for one, uh, you'd have to have an application form, which if you fill in and return to us, mm -hmm. um, then we can start processing it. We'd also need a written business plan and cash flow forecast. What have you got in Plumstead? Uh, is there m m any um, places, you know? Well, I don't think there's any three-bedroom flats. 
three bedroom flats. No. And I'm looking for a four bedroom. That's why I got the idea of moving up. Yeah, you, you see understand, that? you know what I mean? The only only because it was four bedrooms. That's why I stayed here, you know what I mean? The only other four bedroom um, masonettes we've got with lifts are those in the other phases of Elmley Street. Would you accept one of those temporarily? And I mean, oh. that way you probably wouldn't have to cut your carpet and you wouldn't have to adapt things too much. Yeah, I would temporarily. So there's, there's been a tremendous cutback in the capital allocation due to the government cutbacks. What effect is that going to have on estates like this? I think the, the, the main problems have been uh, one very much of, of we've recognised our existing stock is deteriorating rapidly. Um, we had a, a shift of emphasis from new build onto onto uh, repairing our existing stock, and the the capital restrictions have meant very much that we can't carry out that program. I mean, we, we estimate we need what about 80 million next year. And next this year, year they allowed us 14, 13 million actually 13. that came in. Uh, Right, Mr. Smith, what can we do to help you? Well, I've got two kids. I'm living in uh, Clay Mill. What, what, what ages are the children? They're uh, three and ten months, and for the three year old, it's the one with, um, it's got asthma. Evening. You're in the limelight now. Yeah, it's a bright one, isn't Let's it? Let's doing the dancing. Nice smile. So I'm going to ask Sarah to kick off this evening's meeting and talk about the future of the liaison group as families gradually move out of Elmley Street. Well, really, what I wanted to say was about um, phases three and four, because the people in phases one and two are starting to get decanted now, aren't they? Right, Mr Smith. Well, I mean, you are, with, with two young children, and you are eligible for the offer of a house with a garden. Well, they're at the Astoria now, Mr Reid. I'm ready to run. We're at the Astoria, that part of the old kid road. Oh, are we? Yeah? Because once we, we know where we're going on the lighting situation for phase two, we will come back and consult with you again. Emergency services. Yes, can I help you? 